Hey everybody, we're back with more of our river training and today now we're continuing on with our house project so if you haven't been following on you can start from the beginning so what I'm going to do here uh, I'm going to we're going to create an HVAC so what I'm going to do I'm just going to open a new file oh, I'm going to go a new file and I'm going to use my uh, I'm going to use the mechanical template here it did a pretty good job of setting these up so we're going to select the mechanical template and I'm going to say open and then we're going to go OK so now we have a, a mechanical template set up for us and we have an architectural project that we've been working on a beach house so what I'm going to do here I'm going to go to my insert tab here I'm going to link in oh geez, I gotta find it uh, excuse please. I think it's here. And it's going to be this one. So I'm going to open that. So now we have our architecture model linked into our mechanical file. So this is the easiest way to do this. So now once I get in here, all this other crap I don't really need to see. And I want to be on level two anyway. So I'm going to go to level two. We're going to do our mechanical for this level with our HVAC and heat air conditioning, air handling unit, and how to do ductwork. So basically what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go into my Makia VV here. And I'm going to go to my rivet links. Now we've done this before. Uh, we're going to set this as custom. I'm going to go apply and OK. And then I'm going to go to model categories here. And I should be able to shut down what I don't want to see. I don't want to see any furniture, furniture systems. I don't need to see any. We've done this before. I might put a link in there to show you to do this. Uh, I don't need roads. We don't need entourage. So basically, I think I've shut off as much as we need. I don't want any planning here. Uh, I'm going to apply this, see where we are. OK. Well, I don't want to see the floors either, so I'm going to leave it here again. And I don't need floors. So I'm going to go apply and OK. So now we're in level two of our mechanical. So what we need to do now is we need to set go to our uh, system tab and we have mechanical here so these are diffusers so we got a supply here and so supply will probably be the first thing you use so I'm going to place a diffuser here generally over the windows around the window areas for summer and heat and I might put one here as well and I'll just do another one over here Let's put one over here. So now we have our diffusers in. And then once we have our diffusers in, we need to go and, and uh, load a air handling unit. And so for this project, I'm going to just place it in this area. So what we need to do is we go to insert. We're going to load family here. I probably have this already in, and this is another thing you got to think about in, in Revit 2023. Low family is here now in the cloud, and they'll give you all these options. It's pretty cool here, but for now, I think I have one load of a project for time's sake. I'm going to go ahead and just go, uh, I'm going to go back into my uh, system tab, and I want to select mechanical equipment. And here, I want to click the air handling unit. AHU. AHU is basically handles uh, heating, air conditioning, and filtration. So I'm going to pick this number five here and I'm going to drop it. For now, I'm going to just put it right here. And one thing you want to look at, like here, see, I've got it here, and this is for my return air, and I want that to be. 
I don't want to be near a wall. I want to be somewhere where it's open up. So that's good. So I'm going to just set it there for now just for this exercise. We'll probably be on the first floor. So now we have our air handling unit in here. And then what we also have to do for this system, we need to check these diffusers. And as you can see, they're all on level zero. And I'm going to right click here. I'm going to select all instances in this in project. And I'm going to raise these up to level nine, elevation nine feet right here in the properties. So nine. And OK. So now we have our diffusers at the level we want. So what I would do at this point now, I want to uh, select my uh, unit. And then I'm going to hit Control. And I'm going to select each one of these diffusers here. And then I'm going to select Duck. And then this is Supply Air Unit. I'm going to say OK. And then I can go here and I can generate layout. So here I'll select generate layout. And then here I've got options to all the different layouts for this system. So I'm going to go and I'm going to say, hmm. So these are different layouts that we can use for this system. Um, I don't know what's the best one here. I. I think I'm going to go with that one. Oh, we can go with uh, perimeter here. And let's see what these options are. So we can go through all these different options. And then again, we look here at this tab, we have settings. So in our settings, we have offset is at nine feet. I want to push this up since we got a lot of room here. I'm going to make this 10 feet. I'm going to click apply. And then, uh oh, so I'm gonna go back to my settings. I'm sorry, then I'm gonna look at branch. And our branch here, uh, offset is uh, nine feet. Let's make this 10. And then I wanna lose flex duct for, uh, you wanna use a flex duct. And then the maximum length, let's make this, uh, let's make this four. And then we'll say okay. So we have these options here that we can use, and I'm gonna I'm gonna select around here a little bit more. I think this might be our best system here, so I'm gonna finish that. And there's our uh, system, our return here, our, our diffuser. So go from the unit to here to here, and there's our system. So now let's go back in here and let's look at our uh, return here. So I'm going to go back into my, let's look at this in 3D view here. So that's looking pretty good. So what we can do, we can orient this just to view. So we're going to go orient to view and go to floor plans. And we're going to floor plan mechanical two. And there's our floor plan for this level. And looks pretty good here. So now uh, what I don't see, I don't see my flex duct. So we can go back into our level two plan. And what, okay, we'll see it in this view, So which is good. So now what we want to do now, we want to go in and do our return air. So I'll go back here. And so I'll select my terminal here. And then here I will select return air 24 by 24. So I will put one here. I don't know how many you would need. I only have one in my place. So I'm going over here. And you can see the arrows with the arrows pointing in. That means it's return air. So I'm going to place one here. I'll do one here. Put one here. And we'll add one. I don't really think we need one here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of that. I'm gonna escape out of that one. We're gonna just go with these three. 
So then we have our return in, and we do the system the same as before. So we'll basically uh, hit Control, and we'll select each one of our return systems. And then I hit Ductwork. And here we got a sub return here, and we'll say OK. And now here we'll go generate layout. Now, this layout might work because it's not interfering with our other system. So what I might do here in my settings, I might go here and I might just push this up to, uh, let's go 10 feet 6 here. So 10 feet space 6. Okay. Uh oh, so I'm go back to my settings. We got that. And then I want to do my branch here. And I'm going to leave that at 6 feet. Uh, I want to set this at flex duck round. And go OK. So here, this might work. Let's just look at a couple of other uh, layouts. That one. So these might work well because we're going up into the roof area and we got a lot of room above. So I'm going to go out this first one and I'm going to finish this. And there's our return air system. Uh, we got a, a little problem here, but then, you know, we go in here and tweak these things. So I don't know. So let's go to my 3D view here. And like this one here, we can grab this guy and we can change the size. So... I'm going to drop this down to 12 by 12. So we'll go 12 by 12 here. We don't need that big a size. So you can man manipulate these and go ahead and change them around and do what you need to do. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys how you do the uh, mechanical system. So this is basically how it works. Uh, and, and then, you know, uh, like here. 12 by 12 this one here is same thing but anyway guys thanks for watching my video I just want to show you how to do a mechanical system for uh, uh, in for air systems and HVAC so thanks for watching I appreciate you uh, everybody and thanks subscribe and thank you everybody that uh, supported my channel and were able for me to get uh, this software. So I'm going to go here now. I want to look at this briefly. So we're in our 3D view here. So this is the rough area. So we've got all our H. Okay, now I see a problem here. These ducts are too low. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to right click, override the, all of these, and I'm going to set these at 9. I'm going to apply. Okay, so there we go. So uh, now I'm kind of number two. So there's our layout for our mechanical system for uh, heating and cooling. So thanks for everybody watching. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for subscribing, and everybody be safe. Bye.